if we're talking about the difference between 1.4 and 2 grams per kilogram. Even though those feel like monumental differences in protein intake, how could you be dropping the ball, only eating 1.4 grams per kilogram, you're gonna get on stage literally just as a skeleton, <laughs> okay? It's not the way it works. So, that's an energy balance, and that is an energy surplus. None of these studies are in a deficit. Now, I had the extreme pleasure and privilege to work with Dr. Trexler as well as Dr. Martin Ruffalo. We got invited in the recent issue of the Strength Conditioning Journal to specifically do a meta-regression, an updated systematic review on the one cited from 12 years ago that was part of my, my master's thesis, which I thought was really cool, because back then, there were only six studies which met the inclusion criteria, and I didn't actually do a meta-analysis or meta-regression because I don't know how to do a meta-analysis or meta-regression without Trexler, okay? <laughs> Um, no, but actually, I don't think we could have back then with the data. There were only two studies that would have actually fit a categorical meta-analysis, and I don't think it would have been defensible to only do a meta-regression on that few number of participants. But now, 12 years later, we actually had, I think it was close to 750 participants or 800, does that sound right, Trex? Yeah, somewhere in that range. Not bad. It wasn't 2,500 like we got in the surplus, but a fair number, okay? And again, we did a meta-regression. We didn't even do the categorical meta-analysis, so we forced people to think a little bit. And again, if you look at this, what do we see? Linear prediction, so if you're in a deficit, yeah, you can consume around 3.2 grams per kilogram, you gain a little bit of mass, but predicted, Ronnie Coleman, you know what, screw it, Neptune. Is, I think, is Neptune bigger than Jupiter? Okay, the sun, right? <laughs> so. You can get huge if you just eat enough protein. But again, that, that is a model prediction rather than what is true. 